Welcome, my name is Shea Fu. I'm glad to be your host for today for the next hour or so. Welcome to my band rehearsal. We've got the crates playing in the background. We're getting ready for some shows. Brothers and sisters, sit back and relax. Take your shoes off. Actually, you in the blue, leave them on. Welcome, this is gonna be a fresh time for you today. Do it. I love that she, she has a, a really underground audience. Some, something really unique and so kind of has a Pacific flavor, but um, I won't find it on anyone else's body. It's like general public, that's you. Uh, if you don't have a song out, it's kind of like you're dead. <laughs> hey, what's good, fam? It's time to get down like a Cooper Island James Brown. Yes, brothers and sisters, how well do you know your roots? Brown and around. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight is a launch party for my zine. Uh, it's called Philosopher Fly Girl. It's a collection of writings and illustrations and photos and poems that I've been putting together for quite a while. I really like hybridism and mixing things together and um, that's a really huge influence and drive in my work. I just take pop cultural elements and I mix them with the traditional elements because both of those things, you know, they're always going side by side throughout my life. I'm a Māori person, I'm a Pacific person, I'm a German person, so it's reflected in what I do, you know. I love that she she has a, a really underground audience, um, but her online presence is really great. She's an amazing singer, rapper. As well as a, a comic artist, or a graphic artist, or an artist. Fresh and out there, and, and I got that sort of like street edge to it. Yeah, no, I really like her. I really like her style. What I like about the art is it is an expression of who she is. She's someone who follows her dreams, her passions, and her life just unfolds, and it's really fabulous. Welcome back to FRIDGE Fresh. It's me, your favorite uncle, Ra, like Jacker Ra, 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 like Biscay Ra, 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 Ra. From the rock, it doesn't matter. Excuse me, it doesn't matter because new way the rock of Polynesia was before, it doesn't matter. Today on IFOP, I'm gonna show you the new things to make your life hips better. It's gonna compare mouth. You can do hips and hips of things with these things. What? Hey fellas, how many of you got nosy sisters that's always looking for your makeup bag? Herb say, you know the next time you get a CM and you put it inside your makeup bag, so when your sister come along and she open it up and put her hand inside, she's gonna get a big supplies. This one's for the ladies. 
How many of you got boyfriends that like to run away after a marriage, after a five kids, and after a cats and dogs? Yeah, next time you get 2 cm and you tie it like this, and you tell them, run, run, boy, boy, go on, and then you spin it like a helicopter. You spin it like a helicopter, and you follow, and you follow, and... Heaps of you love your animals, but how many of you can register? How many of you can feed it? And some of you even put it on a menu. You know what? In South Auckland, if you want to look cool, you have to get yourself a CM and let it become your BFF, best fluffy friend. Hey, yeah, boy. Hey, yeah, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, yeah, boy. Come on, come on. Good girl, my son. Make sure you watch next week on Fresh iFarm Uncle Ra. Good girl, my son. Easy! What's up? Welcome back, family. Yeah, how are you? Are you really, really? Because I'm really. Don't you go nowhere, we're gonna take a little break, we'll be back, keep it fresh right here, oh! Yo Freshies, stay tuned for some Know Your Roots and also a little bit of this. Kia ora, my name's Teresa, I'm from Mangri, Auckland, and I'm keeping it fresh in Korea. Ka, va, kava, can you pass me the CD kava? <laughs> 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 hey, what's up, yo? How well do you know your roots? Are you really a blonde or a brunette? Anya, how well do you know your roots? Welcome to Know Your Roots. Know Your Roots. Like all Pacific Island stories, there are not only two, but 200 sides to every story. Why? Because everyone's mama who passes on gossip never stick to the original story. It changes from ear to ear like Chinese whispers. Except there is no such thing as whisper on our side of the world. Hearing someone whisper is like hugging a fire alarm. Elge. Jamaica have their rum. Russia have their vodka, but in the islands we get crunk on the kava, the ava, the yogona. So much for a religious drink, eh? In Samoa there are many brews, but they love to sip until the numb of the lip with the kava. Their story goes a little something like this. Mo'ya. Once upon a time there was a chick who was a virgin. She had to be sacrificed to the sun, cause that's what they did back in the days to get good sunshine on arena season, huh? Don't know how they could tell if she was a virgin, but she was given to the sun as a sort of present. The next bit is a bit PGR, so kids, please close your mouth. Next minute, the sun got the girl pregnant. The sun is having a son, yeah you know what? <laughs> she gave birth to a fetus that fell into the sea. A crab found it and buried it in the umu pit, where it grew into a strange, ugly looking twisted plant. Ta-da! It was the birth of the kava. With its magical properties that were a gift from the sun and can put lots of sunshine onto the lips of whoever drinks it. Like champagne to the Balangi top dogs. This drink is the drink for the top dogs in the island ceremonies. You know, the reason why 21st birthdays take another 21 years. The kava is a magical drink because it makes things more beautiful than they really are. Which is probably why men go for a bowlful before they go home to their wife and 10 kids. Know Your Roots wants you to know we probably made this stuff up. So if you're getting a bit angry, like blame Wikipedia because she was told me. When we up? Yeah, yeah, what's up fam? Listen man, it's really hard to choose one video, but right now my favorite video of all time J. Rue the Damager, you're playing yourself. Oh. Yo, are you a pimp? A hustler? No, I'm not. Are you a man? And can you stand alone like a man has to sometimes? Yes, I can. Are you willing to go out there and save the lives of our children, even if it means losing your own life? Yes, I am. Kia ora, my name's Teresa. I'm from Mangri, 
Lisa. I'm from Mangry, Auckland, and I'm keeping it fresh in Korea. Welcome to Bunda. This is a small satellite city just outside of Seoul where I live. It's got a really good variety of both Korean and Western stores, which is really handy for foreigners who live here. And as you can see, they tend to build upwards, which is why cities like these are called concrete jungles. So it's really different from where I used to live in Auckland. I think the biggest thing I miss from back home, besides my family, is the beautiful clean environment because in big cities like Seoul, pollution can be quite a problem. So I'm with Mel and Tessa on the subway. We're just gonna take a short trip down south to Buyo, which is a small Korean country town, to visit some other Pacific Island teachers who also live and work here in Korea. <laughs> I'm keeping it fresh in Korea. How's the food, guys? Eating now. It's called duck. That's fried duck. Mm -hmm. Is it spicy? Most of us are used to living with our big families back home in New Zealand, so living in a small Korean apartment is something that we've all had to adjust to. Teaching English as a second language is a big part of what we do here and building relationships with these kids is one of my fondest memories of living in Korea. I think the most important thing about living in a foreign country is finding that balance between being yourself and maintaining your culture while opening yourself up to new experiences and not being afraid to try new things. And even though I really miss eating meat pies and fatli fukalo, Learning to love Korean cuisine has been a really interesting challenge. And that's how I'm keeping it fresh in Korea. Yeah. Yo, I make sure that it's fresh. Got you straight to death. Make sure you're feeling me to your last breath. I got you. Bodhi Changa, Pacific Island dog. Got you like a crazy rock wilder. Blah, blah. Yo, yo, we little, we little. That was terrible, man. What do you guys call that, man? What do you have to say for yeah. I... yeah. After the break, we got Polyscope. Keep it locked right here. Fresh all day. Real mature, real mature. Each flower and each leaf uh, represents a member of my family. I know it sounds funny sometimes, man. You hear the song's got a little angle. Does it have to be that way? Ja, Megan. Ja, Megan. Ja, Megan, me crazy. Me can't make you crazy at after none of the day, and I'm glad I find the matter. Tell them to bring me a little coconut juice, you know. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, what's up, yeah?
y'all. We're gonna check out some fresh tan sticks, but then you get to ride shotgun with us. We're going on the road, baby. Let's go on the road. Come on. Hey, follow me, your weekly Bali scout. Sagittarius, you're so free and easy loving. A bit too easy loving. You know Britney Spears? Britney Spears is a Sagittarius. Again, a little bit too easy loving. Sagittarius! Welcome back, yo. As you can see, we are on the motorway. Auckland traffic once again. But um, while we're here, we're going to take a look at some beautiful Tato and the people that wear them on Inked. My name is Tanu Ngao and I'm Samud. On my left foot, um, I have a, a floral motif and um, a friend of mine from Hawaii uh, designed it with me and, um, and then tattooed it for me. So I feel really great that it's um, something really unique and still kind of has a Pacific flavor, but um, I won't find it on anyone else's body. It's made up of hibiscus, uh, frangipani, and uh, breadfruit leaves. And um, each flower and each leaf uh, represents a member of my family. I have nine sisters and two brothers, uh, and I wanted to kind of carry them with me everywhere I go. Just the idea of not always being able to see my family members and knowing that there's something on my body that represents them. That's the one thing that I really love the most about my tattoo. Um, and that's the most significant in terms of meaning for myself personally. Hey, what's good, y'all? This next segment is one of my favorites. It's where we get to see what's happening around the world with our Polynesian people and their music. So check it out. New music videos from Polynesia. Whoa! Jazz. Chord. Jazz chord. I just go to say I'm love you. <laughs> What's up? Welcome back, family. Yeah. All right, check out this next bunch of videos on YouTube. Did I mean? 